Wilson saves his best till last. We traverse the Patsin language as we finish off the Wilson Trail right here on Drone and Fern. Well, we're back on the Wilson Trail. Two more sections to go. We're up at Cloudy Hill. What are we going to look forward to today? So today, the last two sessions will be the most covered session of the Wilson Trail. So we are starting in Cloudy Hill, and later on, we're going to go to uh, Passing Land and then finishing the trail in Lam Chung. It is tough, but it should be the most beautiful. A lot to do. Let's get going. Let's go. Named after Baron Wilson of Tilion, Governor of Hong Kong from 1987 to 1992, the Wilson Trail stretches 78 kilometres from Stanley in the south of Hong Kong Island to Nam Chung in the far north of the New Territories. Often overlooked for its more famous sibling, the Macklehose Trail, we highly rate this one at Drone & Phone because of its spectacular views, abundance of wildlife and quieter paths. For the last two sections, we start down the Tai Wo MTR, climb the 440 meters of Cloudy Hill, and then start a slow descent down to the Cocktail Reservoir. So the first part of section nine is very gentle downhill, a mixture of paths and concrete. And now we have got down to the reservoir. And unfortunately, this is the beginning of our ascent up onto Patsin Lang. Coming from the south, as you do on the Wilson Trail, you start with a direct climb up to Ping Fung Chan at 529 metres, and then further up to Wong Lang at 639 metres, the highest point on the ridge. It's a tough start, but the sense of remoteness and space along the open trails makes for a unique experience in Hong Kong. I've got to say, this is just a case of getting your head down and climbing. Amazing countryside to be walking through, but incredibly hilly. We're climbing up to over 600 meters. So there's a lot of this to go. Let's keep going. Once you reach the top, the hard work is done and the worst of the Wilson Trail is behind you. This is the highest point on the Wilson Trail. And what a view, uh, over here, Tai Mei Tuk, over the Patsin Lang, and right down over there to Shenzhen, all the way across there. Amazing view, well worth it. The Patsin Lang Ridge does not start officially till you reach Shun Yung Feng, after which there's a series of peaks very close to one another. I think Wilson, he, got, he didn't hike the whole trail himself. I think he just made this up. Like, he won't be able to climb Cloudy Hill and then past inland and the whole trail. That's impossible. That's the end of section nine, a really, really tough one, but fantastic views. How was it for you, George? It was really tiring. So we are here now at the last peak of Patsin Lang already. I think we all need to know what Patsin Lang really means. Tell us. So Patsin Lang is actually a Chinese term. Uh, it means like Agar's Ridge. So basically these Agar's, they were just ordinary people, but they did something really good. And then the God just assigned them to be gods. So that's what, how the names come from, yeah. Uh, we're certainly learning from doing the climbs, that's for sure. Now we've got one more section to do. Should be about seven kilometers and we're hoping to do it in two hours. It's gonna be dark soon, we better get going. Section 10 is a pleasant stroll slowly down from the ridge to Nam Chung village near the Chinese mainland border. It brings you along forested paths past ancient villages, streams and bridges. It's a part of Hong Kong few residents get to see, lost in the hills at the far north edge. I've seen a sign that says we still have five kilometers to go. Um, I think George is really in bad shape at the moment. He's not speaking, trying to conserve. Uh, what water he has left in his mouth. He's run out of water. 
I've just got about a mouthful left in my bag uh, and it's getting dark but we're determined to do it it's only going to be about another hour I think at this rate we'll see how we do we set off early and still found hiking from Taiwo to Nam Chung quite a challenge to do within a day, so bear that in mind when planning. Once you reach the end of the trail, there is still work to be done as you have about a two-kilometre walk along the road to get to a place you can catch a minibus or get a taxi from. Well, hey, the end of the trail, the Wilson Trail, we've finally, done it. Finally, finally, finally. That was a really tough one. George did an awesome, awesome effort. How was it for you? Finally, Wilson Trail, we finished. Achievement, a lot. It was a really long path, session 9 and 10, but I'm really thirsty right now. I can't talk anymore. George has been suffering from lack of water. Any advice to people about bringing enough water? Bring lots and <laughs> lots of water because the whole trail is basically exposed under the sun. Yeah. yeah, nowhere to get water. Now, if you're finding us for the first time, please look at our YouTube channel. Uh, you'll find that and our website at dronephone.com. My name's DJ. I'm GC. <laughs> George, really. And it's been a long day, but we've done it. This yeah. Oh, sorry. And this is Dronephone. How's that, Josh? So good. <clears throat>